This is so important. Please listen to this. While supplies are certainly welcome, they aren't always the best way to help in a disaster like this. Jessica Sim uh, uh, Smith, rather, with our Washington Bureau, she joins us live with how you can pitch in and really make your money count. Jessica? Well, experts say the biggest need right now is cash, but before you give, you should make sure your money is actually going to a good cause. As images of Harvey's destruction grip the country, many Americans want to help the people who've lost everything. But experts say be careful. There are scammers out there who will try to take your money. Katie Dappen with the FTC says you should be cautious about sending text donations or opening emails that request money. You could unknowingly down, download malware onto your computer. Daffin says before making any donation, do your research. Go with an organization that you trust and that has a proven track record. Greg Forster is the CEO of Voluntary Organizations Active in Disasters. VOAD is an association of vetted groups that help communities recover cover from disasters. Forrester says if you want to help, donating money is best. It allows the, the flexibility of being able to actually get the things on the ground that we need for the, as the needs are expressed immediately. Food and clothing donations can often go to waste or cause more work for volunteers. Very well-meaning people start to collect items that may have been uh, put out there on social media as to what the need is without knowing that we've already got those resources en route. If you want to help with recovery efforts on the ground, Experts say to hold off before heading to Texas. VOAD says an influx of volunteers from all over the country could eat up valuable resources victims and local volunteers need. This is a marathon. Uh, we'll be working in Texas for the next 12 to 15 years. And so you will have an opportunity to go ahead and serve. Forrester urges people to train with your local VOAD affiliate so you'll be ready if disaster ever strikes your hometown. If you want to vet a certain charity before you give, the FTC says to check with the Better Business Bureau, GuideStar, or Charity Navigator. All three organizations have websites that list reputable charities. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Jessica Smith. All right, Jessica, thank you. And we don't have to remind you that 10 months ago we were enduring Hurricane Matthew and that many of us are still rebuilding. To help Texas in their time of need, you can donate $10 to the Red Cross by either calling or texting the numbers on your screen right now. Take a look. You can also find this information on our website, WNCN.com. Every little bit helps. Well, it may not look like.